all right this is another one on this one it says trump once asked me why i was killing christians buhari all right president muhammadu buhari on tuesday said president donald trump of the united states of america once caught him half guard when he asked him why are you killing christians Okay, Buhari, who spoke on a lighter note at the concluding session of the ministerial retreat for ministers and heads of ministries, departments, and agencies, MDHs at the State House, Abuja, said he wondered how his cabinet members would have responded to such thought provoking question. The president said, I don't think I can finish this speech without one or two digressions, which is specifically to you, ministers, permanent secretaries, and our supporters. I believe I was about the only African among the less developed countries that the president of the United States invited. And when I was in his office only, he and myself he looked at me in the face and said why are you killing christians if you were the one i wonder how you will react the problem between cattle rearers and farmers which is older than me not to talk of president donald trump because i know i am a couple of years older than him were happening climate change population growth Meanwhile, Buhari had in his closing remarks taxed key stakeholders in his government to boldly defend the administration as his administration has lived up to its billings. He made allusions that his administration was suffering from bad press, a situation he won't should be addressed with all commitment. He also said there should be greater synergy between all governmental agencies as it would help in greater synergy for the remaining time frame of the whole progressive congress led government the days of insufficient collaboration coordination and synergy among implementing ministries departments and agencies should be over in this regard i have directed that essential coordination delivery units in the office of the secretary of the government of the federation should be reviewed should be revived to ensure we focus on results the sgf is to ensure regular reports on progress submitted i have charged all of you to defend the government vigorously and not allow any irresponsible and politically and politically motivated statement to keep spreading falsehood about this government all right all right that is that on this one well this is a great question meanwhile according to this buhari saying that trump once asked him why he was killing christians so now a lot of nigerians have reacted to this well on this one so um, Buhari said something. On this one, Buhari said something, and it's to me, I think it's so ridiculous. In his part where he said that, why would Donald Trump be asking him that kind of question? Now a lot of people have reacted to this. That does it mean that because the problem is older than you, it should become a way of life? I asked my friend where all these headsmen and bandits were when you were not president because the headsmen we knew them were very friendly. These killers, rapers and kidnappers appeared with impunity only when you became president. You can imagine. So now people are now saying that, Buari, you are talking like this. Okay, fine. You are saying that these so-called situation is older than you fine it's older than you but why was it that since the since you have not been the president of the country since you were not the president of the country nothing 
bad was happening. But not until you became president. That is when we now realize that this thing had been the t a thing of old. So, according to what people are saying, people are saying that Buhari does not have a point in this. In fact, he is implicating himself more by saying, by answering in this, uh, by answering the question in this manner. All right, that is that on that one. And meanwhile, Rabiu Atiku has said that this is nonsense. People are dying in Zamfara, Sokoto, Kasina, Bono, Yobin, Niger. And this whole thing started happening simultaneously since Abu Hari became president of Nigeria. And now, a lot of people are not happy about that. But why is it that it was when Buhari became president, even when he was about to come in, that was when the old trouble started. And until date, it has not stopped. So now this man needs to be questioned because a lot of things that are happening in this country are not supposed to be happening the way it has been happening. Well, Mr. Adeyanju Olu Yemi has said that you have a case to answer. Your kinsmen are killing people and you refuse to arrest any of them. God will definitely deal with you all. Wow, that is serious. Well, that is why I like Trump. He doesn't do all that diplomatic beating about the bush. Well, one thing I believe is that no matter what, no matter the level you are you have attained in life and if you think you can just do anyhow you like you should remember that it was it is god that created you in this life because the president might be thinking he's he's in charge and he has for, he, he must not forget that vanity upon vanity all is vanity now a lot of people are suffering under your regime yet you are saying this has been happening before now in fact even the problem the situation on ground is older than you what is the meaning of that a lot of things are going wrong by the day and you are just there well that's why sometimes if i just think about what a lot of people have been saying that the person that is there is not buari so i I, w I wouldn't i wouldn't bother because the the way the whole thing is going i i can't, I can't say you cannot tell me that somebody who is in its rightful mind will sit down and make things to be going wrong things will be going worse by the day and nothing to show for it well the way i'm saying it i'm just saying it as a situation whereby somebody is just coming to destroy a country and we have people that know about what is going on yet they don't want to say anything they are keeping mute because of their own selfish reasons it's only god that we answer to this and that is just what i can say about that because nigerians are not happy things are going wrong by the day what is all this may the good lord continue to help us that's why we say we need prayer but some people will tell you that we should forget about prayer that we have to take it by force and this has to be taken by force and look at what is happening today well that's it my people on this one meanwhile let me have your take on this and remember to subscribe for more updates thanks and god bless